Ladies and gents, you've come here to the Barrett Channel to learn about the biggest telescope in the entire world. 500 meters diameter, it's absolutely monstrous. You're gonna learn all about it right about now. Stick with us, this is fast. FAST, 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope. A telescope lay in a 45 million year old crater surrounded by cast landforms in Guizhou, a southern province in China. This engineering marvel has a long story. Starting as just an idea of master engineer and pioneer of the project, Nan Randong. So I'm currently in the museum that was specifically built for the man, the legend, the pioneer of this entire project, Narendong. Walking around this museum is really fascinating, learning about this guy. It seems to be a common thing with anybody who wants to do something that's completely revolutionary, that they kind of get seen as crazy at first and not many people see what they see. Not many people can visualize what they are willing to go through to build something that is unlike any other. And Nan Rendong, this guy, carried this project through all the way from when he was about 50 years old in 1993 until his unfortunate passing just 10 days before the project was finished in 2017. After years of analysing more than 300 different locations, this was the chosen spot. The professor had found that the dish is of such a weight that it needed to have the natural support of this limestone depression in order for it to stay intact. As there had been nothing ever built like this before, Professor Nan and his team couldn't draw inspiration from previous research. It was an incredibly hard task to face. By March 2011, workers on the FAST project were breaking ground. Now a completely reasonable question to ask at this point would be what is the use for a telescope of this size? Well, FAST is able to detect radio signals from thousands of light years away, literally from the edge of our universe. Natural radio emissions were detected by accident in 1932 by physicist Karl Jansky. FAST will be three times more sensitive than the previous largest telescope on Earth, Arecibo in Puerto Rico, which unfortunately collapsed not so long ago. An intrinsic problem with radio astronomy is the nature of radio waves themselves. They run parallel to each other over a spread out area rather than focusing on a single point. To solve this problem, FAST engineers came up with a fantastic idea. They built a cable net, which pulls the reflective panels into a spherical shape. Each of the 4,450 panels can move independently to concentrate the radio waves onto the receiver. All right, so we've hopped in the car. We're on our way up to have a sort of uh, bird's eye view over fast, which I'm kind of looking forward to because it is the biggest in the world and I'm not sure quite how incredible it's going to look from from the top you know um, however i'm not able to take this camera inside as well as our uh, phones and even like anything bluetooth or even my watch you're not allowed to take in because of interference and i'm sure they don't want people taking drones in and stuff like that so understandably we're gonna lock those up in a locker and uh, make our way up but hopefully i'm gonna get a photo up there that someone's gonna take of me so uh yeah i'll show you right now so we just took a uh, little bus, about 20 minutes up really high to be able to overlook the telescope. And oh my God, it's absolutely huge. You would have seen a picture that uh, somebody, a security guy took of me up there um, on the thumbnail of this video. It's fascinating to look at something that huge 
an infra infrastructure project that's been you know planned for years and it's just there right in front of your eyes and it's 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 fascinating especially as it's the biggest one in the world it's kind of impressive it's mad how we've seen the biggest dam in the world in china you know that's in uh hunan province and now we've seen the biggest telescope in the world here in uh guizhou province so you know we're getting around doing these different kind of infrastructure projects i'm sure there'll be more in the future as well so stay tuned and subscribe to the barrett channel once the dish was almost complete the attention switches to the 30 ton focus cabin that will be suspended above the dish the focus cabin on a telescope houses the feeds that receive the radio signals once reflected off the dish fast's focus cabin is unique Suspended 140 meters above the reflective panels, it works in perfect harmony with the active surface to move around while tracking the movement of the incoming signal. The precise directional tracking relies on six cables fed through six towers erected around the dish. It took five years to build this telescope and it's finally completed in July 2016. A key mission for FAST is the quest for pulsars. A pulsar is the matter that remains when a star eight times the size of the sun explodes. It then becomes something the size of about a golf ball with a weight of several billion tons. It rotates in space thousands of times per second and is the universe's most accurate clock. Fast is finished and can now detect the faintest of signals from phenomena never before encountered and progress our understanding of the mystical outer space. So you can see this little town behind me. This has actually been built since FAST was started to uh, be built. Obviously, some people who lived in that area had to be relocated. Uh, in total, it was 800 homes that did have to be relocated. And they've all come here. And the government have kind of built this area and heavily compensated the people who had to be rehomed. So as you can imagine, these people who lived here before is in such a secluded area. They weren't really able to make much money. Maybe they were a farmer or something like that. But since FAST has been built, obviously it's bringing a lot more tourists into the area to come and see it. And that has allowed them to open up small businesses, maybe like a little homestay or a hotel, restaurant, something like that. And the road infrastructure has gotten much better since then as well. So maybe they're exporting uh, products that they're growing here and they're able to do that. You know, tourism is never a bad thing. It's, it's, it's helped make the area more prosperous than it was before FAST was built. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. There's FAST, the biggest radio telescope in the world. You saw it here on the Barrett channel first. That's why you need to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Drop a comment if you learned something and tell me what it was. And we will see you in the next one. For now, take care.